Fox's Jennifer Love Hewitt targeted the TRL star for his roast and we rolled out our new guy, Jamal, for the MTV Bash. What are you most scared of? There's a lot of people. All your high-profile friends are here. Yeah, I'm scared. I'm scared of, uh, scared of Madonna. He did her, and then he did her homework. I'm really scared of Jimmy Kimmel. It's my pleasure to introduce the woman who almost became Mrs. Carson Daly, Tara Reid. Carson had reason to be afraid, very afraid. Guests at his bash, like a navel glistening Britney, were not bearing gifts. They were bearing insults. He's a man who goes out of his way to help the less fortunate, especially young, attractive women who would do anything for concert tickets or a backstage pass. From the get-go, the legendary Lothario's reputation for womanizing was laid bare by Madonna. Oh, I hear she likes him to dress up like Spider-Man. This is very confusing. Is it Jennifer or is it Tara? If, if you can't get it right, Carson, how can I get it right? And one of those exes, Jennifer Love Hewitt, ended any confusion about her feelings. Hi, you remember me, girlfriend 147? Oh, great. I can't believe she showed. Yeah, we were all surprised. There's no way in hell she's actually going to show up. Sheriff oh, Oscar show up she did. Me. And read a private love letter she claimed Carson had once penned. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? You know, like at the beach house with lots of chicks and thongs screaming my name. Is it uh, kind of awkward, or uh, how, how do you feel? Um, it's not what I thought I would be doing tonight. <laughs> Carson, though, seemed more concerned about how Jennifer was getting along with his parents. She hasn't seen my parents since we broke up. How'd that go? Uh, it went all right. We got it. We'll, uh, you have to see it on the show. Uh, it'll, be, right, it'll be good. My dad always liked her, so that's good. <laughs> Pam Landerson claimed she liked Carson, too, but you wouldn't have known it yeah. from her tribute. In fact, I've always kind of thought of you as the Dick Clark for people too dumb to count along on New Year's Eve.